Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Fikri Adibin Ahmad Shariman Our group topic is Factory Management System First thing first, in factory management, employee apply database system to organize all data such as product management, staff information, role and other So the problem is our organization currently relies completely on manual encoding to save data such as stock, material, progress, records and many others which is an issue The objective of this project is to implement the centralized database system that will help automate the process of recording, tracking and reporting data in the organization. Overall of this objective is can contribute to improving the efficiency and accuracy of the organization's database management. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and my name is Muhammad Izamuddin Betazali and I want to talk about my part which is scopes, significance and DML, insert, delete and so on. So first thing first uh, about the scopes, the function of the system and the target users. Basically, the system is being described here is a uh, factory management system that aims to provide real-time data, uh, automate, automate uh, task automation, routine tasks, and analytics for decision making that uh, offer the system will meet the user needs. The second is to meet the specifics needed of the manufacturer. Uh, the proposed system will be user-friendly and efficient and customized customization for the target user mm, it's more to the target user of the system includes managers production supervisors maintenance technicians quality control personnel sales and marketing staff and admin these individuals play a key role in managing different aspects of the manufacturing process for the significance uh, the company can improve efficiency by slide the manufacturing process and enhance inventory management uh, by automate the routine tasks and adding the real time data the system helps the user make informed decision quickly uh, next that is the system is completely feasible according to requirement of each factory in one of its significant needs. The system has a number of modules that may be customized to meet the unique requirement of each factory, including production, sales, and quality control. Also, all this. Okay, now, I'm almost ready to explain. We'll explain about fitting rational design. Okay. As we can see, we have six different entities. Okay, the first one, we have staff. The okay, staff have eight attributes. The first one is uh, staff ID. Staff ID is the primary key for this entity. That's one is name. And then we have three different foreign keys for this entity. The first one is the common ID, that is a foreign key referencing from the common table. And then SV ID referencing from supervisor. And then model number that referencing from machine. And then we have things, gender, and the type. Okay, for the next one is we have supervisor entity that has this attribute. The first one is SV ID as the primary key for this entity. And then we have name. And then we have one key that is department ID that refer that reference from department table. And then we have case, gender, and type. And then we have next we have department that have three attributes, department ID as the primary key, and we have size and then. next one is machine that have five attributes. The first one is model number, the primary key, and then we have two foreign key that is department ID and tech ID that referencing from department and technician. And then we have production per hour. And brand. Next, we have product product that have six attributes. The first one is for ID as the primary key, and then we have two foreign key that is model number and department ID, referencing from machine and department. The last one is technician that have five attributes and technician ID as the primary key for this entity, and then we have name, age, gender, and type. Okay, the business rules that we use for the ID are the first one is. Each supervisor should manage one or more staff assigned to it. Staff is basically managed by a supervisor. Each department should have one or more staff assigned to it. The staff is basically assigned to a department. Number three, each machine should handle one or more staff that assigned to it. The staff is basically handled to a machine. Four, each machine monitored by one or many technicians. Each technician is monitored basically one machine. The supervisor is handled one department. The department is handled basically by one supervisor. Number six, one department has one or many machines. One or many machine as in one exactly department. Department is conduct on product and a product is conduct exactly by one or no department. The last one is a machine product 
So we see produce a product and product is produced directly by one machine. Okay, next one I explain about the dictionary. At the dictionary, we have attribute, content, data type and size, format, range, require, default value, unique, PK or FK, and FK reference table. Okay, first one is for sub table. Okay, we have stuff ID that have data type and data type baca and the size of what. It is required and it is a PK for this table. Then we have the format ID that is baca size 5 and a FK for this table that reference from the format table. Then we have SVID that have a baca data type and a size of what. And it is a FK for this table that reference from supervisor table. And then we have model number. The data type is baca unique and FK for this table that reference from machine table. That, that, then we have stuff name. That's a type char, size of 50 is required. Then we have stock case, uh, data type number required. Then we have stock gender, uh, data type is char, okay, it is required. And then we have stock and type, that have data type watcher and size of 20. And then require and unit. Okay, then we have the common table. The first one is department ID, that have data type watcher and size 5 and the PK of this table. Then we have department size, data type number, require, then department name, data type char and size of 50, require and unique. Okay, next, so what is the table? SVID, that have data type watcher and size of 5, and the PK of the for the table. And then we have department ID, data type watcher and size of 5, and print key for this table, that reference from the department table. And then we have SV name, data type char and size of 50, and require. And then we have SVH, data type number and require. And then we have SV gender, data type char and size of 10 and require. And then we have SV contact, data type virtual, size 20 and require and unique. Next, we have technician table. Uh, the first attribute is tag ID, data type virtual and size 5. And then we have uh, the PK for this table. Then we have tag age, data type number. And then tag gender, data type char and size 10. Then we have tag contact, data type, watcher and size 20. It is required and unique. And then tag name, data type, char and size 50 and required. Okay, next, machine table. The first table is model number, data type, watcher, size 10. And the PK for this table. And then we have department ID, data type, watcher and size 5. At, uh, FK for this table, that reference from department table. And then we have tag ID, watcher, size 5. And foreign key for this table that reference from technician table, and then we have production for our unit, and then we have friend that data type char size 50 and require. Okay, then we have our product table. First attribute is product ID that data type watcher and size limit 5, and the PK for this table, then we have model number, uh, data type watcher, and FK for this table that reference from machine table, and then we have department ID data type watcher and size 5. And FK for the table that reference from department table. And then we have quantity, data type number, and require. And next, we have product date, data type date, and require. Next, uh, expired date, set data type, date, and require. Alright, for DDI statement, we have create six table. First table is create table department. Uh, in, tab, in table department, we have three available. First, department ID and the data type we choose Vacha because in department ID we have words and numbers. The space of Vacha is 5 space and we make the department ID as primary key because uh, we gotta have a relationship with other table. The second is department name. We also use Vacha as the data type but we increase the space is 50 words and numbers and third is department size the data type is number because uh, it only use number the second table is create table supervisor in table supervisor we have six variable for the first is supervisor id we use vacha uh, then in at the second is department id in department id we gonna use as a foreign key look at the coding this constraint FK supervisor department so this is the coding to make the department ID as a foreign key so the next is 
DML insert statement. So I have five question that insert the statement. So the first the these two values is already, but I want to guys about this. Uh, insert one new tradition. So basically insert the initial values, the ID, the name, gender, and phone. So basically, if this I click run, then it insert to the one row. If I change to select star from star from technician it will display up bin faro which is this one so same as this the new stuff the new machines the new products and the department so for the new department i just this is it to this statement so one row insisted if i want to know uh, this just select star from department then run it will appear all the department ID, department name, and department size. So for the update statement, I want to update department name, department ID to DA01. So if I just this, let's go to this one row update. So it has a change to the table. Uh, for number name for the ID, the ID is on this one technician. So before before that, I want to know what is the number of phone for this technician, which is uh technician uh ID the technician is T two two two. So select star from the mission. So T22 is Rahim bin Osman, 27 males, and this is the phone number. I want to change this to this 432. But it of already changed. So if I put this update, then the number it will change to this one. Okay, same as for machine name. About the empty statement, which is I want to delete one of it from the table so basically if i uh, search from the staff table it show this a234 id which is this one abdul uh, abdi abdul rahman but if i want dvd just put this here copy this statement then run it will delete so from the uh, staff table it should be deleted so it's stop from stop for next uh, so the staff id of a234 is deleted does not have in this table i think that's all for me thank you I'll be explaining about ML query. So, like, okay, the first question we use for us uh, select query is retrieve the name and gender of all staff that is above 25. Okay, the SQL command that we're going to use for this question is select staff ID, staff gender from staff, the staff is more than 25.
Okay, now I'm going to show you this SQL common result at X. Okay. I'm going to run. And then you can see the staff ID, the staff gender that is uh, more than 25. Okay, next. Get the brand name that has no production per hour. Okay. We're going to use uh, command select brand or machine where production per hour is M. Okay, now I'm going to show it at effects. Okay. okay, now you can see the brand that has no production per hour. Okay, next we have display the supervisor ID name and contact that has department ID DB02 or DB04. Okay, the command that we're going to use is select supervisor ID, supervisor name, supervisor contact or supervisor where department ID uh, DB02 or department ID DB04. Okay. Now, when I use this command, then effect. Okay, fine. Then you can see SV ID, SV name, and SV contact where department ID is DB02 or DB04. Okay, next. We're gonna display for the ID and product date that has quantity over 750. Okay, the SPL command that you're gonna use is select for the ID, product date, or product where quantity is more than 750. Okay, you're gonna use this command at Apex. Okay, right. Okay, as we can see, you can see the product ID and product date for quantity. You have more than 750. Okay, next. Last question is display on machine data that has the internet ID E111. Okay, the command that we're going to use is select all from machine where tech ID is E111. Okay. And then you can see the model number, keep up my ID. Technician ID, brand and production per hour that have tech ID is 111. Okay, hello everyone. My name is Mohamed Fikri and I will be discussing about QML grouping and guide. These are important concepts when working with database and data manipulation in QML. Let's start with um, QML joins first. In QML joins, it allows us to combine data from multiple tables based on related columns. By using join, we can retrieve data that spans across multi table. It also enables to work uh, with more complex and interconnected data structure. To perform joins in HTML, we can use SQL syntax within our query. So this is uh, the example of using join. Here we use join to join the staff and department uh, database. Okay, so next let's move on to grouping. Grouping in KML allows us to group data based on a specific column value. Okay. It is particularly useful when we want to aggregate or summarize data based on a particular attribute. To group data in QML, we can use the group by class in our SQL. Slide. Okay. Uh, we use group by brand. So, in conclusion, QML grouping and joins are powerful tools that allow us to work with interconnected data and perform complex data manipulation. By using joins, we can combine data from multiple tables while grouping enable use to summarize and aggregate data based on specific attributes. That's all. Thank you. Yes, the model number and brand that has a position per hour, degree than the average position per hour. Ini adalah SQL nya, and load the model number bagi the brand, the character bagi C, where production per hour lagi besar dengan handle position per hour daripada the machine. Jadi, cukup untuk SQL code ini, dia akan selesaikan collect average for production per hour dulu. So, dia akan kira, dia akan kira production per hour dan selesai dengan itu. So, baru dia akan bandingkan production per hour yang lebih besar daripada yang lebih untuk mengeluarkan uh, model dari brand tersebut jadi sebelumnya saya akan fungsi jadi letakkan pada SQL Oracle yang run ini lagi 
model number dan juga brand yang production power dia lagi besar daripada average production power dia so yang kedua soalan yang seterusnya display the brand of the machine that assign the technician who are younger than the tolong maksudnya dia nak tahu technician yang urutkan mesin yang umur tidak lebih daripada kolam so mula-mula dia akan select uh, third ID national ID daripada tiga tiga yang umurnya kurang daripada kolam so dia akan uh, dia akan uh, put national ID ke sini itu dia place dia national ID yang mana urutkan mesin yang kurang umurnya lebih kurang daripada kolam so kita tahu Output dia, output dia dan fish di apa yang itu. Nah, so, dia brand yang uruskan, brand yang teknikin uruskan yang umur yang kurang lebih dua tahun. Yang kau nak tahu apa yang dia punya teknikin ID, saya boleh tambah teknikin ID. Kau itu buat teknik ID sekali. So, ini dia teknikin ID yang umurnya kurang lebih dua tahun. Kau nak tahu siapa pemilik teknikin ID ini, saya boleh select eh uh, from technician eh okay. tadi okay. equal to ni satu 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 hmm ini tak sebut lah siapa yang aktif dia tahu mana terusnya display supervisor ID name and contact who have more number of ni kalau soalan ni nak supervisor ID yang ada ramai stop ada ramai stop oh ni kat sini ni, dia akan kiri dulu match staff yang ada kita akan kiri dulu baru dia akan pindahkan dia akan kasi tekan bracket yang dulu baru dia kasi tekan yang dua baru dia akan cari dulu match staff baru dia akan samakan dengan survey ID dan baru lah dia boleh saya dapat result yang sempat ni okay. terus staff provider yang ada ramai staff adalah provider time frame O So, sebagai so, conclusion, the battery management system that we create is to be able to be steam for user to store the personal and staff information, material and products semula. Ini data data tadi ni kita ada ikutkan beberapa table, satu satu beberapa department, supervisor, staff, mesti dan juga produk. Dan table table ni ada sekaitan dengan sesama lain. Kita buat proses di di itu lagi semula. Dan untuk kita kita buat data ni adalah untuk increase Detris efficiency, macam mana kalau kita nak cari data-data tertentu So, go back kalau punya data ini Yang um, first, yang initial and content difficulty Sebab so, implementing a centralized database system can be challenging Masih cooking, masih available, strong investment, in infrastructure, software and design In And also include data migration from existing system It can be time consuming and prone to data loss or error Back to Kata dia kita orang ni, uh, ada tunjukkan gaji untuk semua staff dan untuk kerja ni So jadi kita orang mungkin susah lah untuk ambilkan kerja kerja punya gaji untuk pada masa depan lah Dan sesuatu mungkin dekat sini berisiko Dia dah ada kecil-kecil punya data Sebab kita punya security pun kuat sangat So cadangan untuk menawarkan, mungkin kita orang nak tambah security Untuk bagi data tu tidak ada dah cara menguat lah dan iterative implementation untuk kategori implementing system to stage the idea that all at once continuous monetary and change monetary system performance on regular basis collect user input and make the ending of three changes and enhancement we skip the system current cycle and online the detention and investment pending okay, start with the charger, terima kasih